Hi everyone, it's Julia, and thank you so much for joining me today. I've been missing in action for a couple weeks, just busy with summer stuff, but I wanted to share with you this sweatshirt makeover that I did last week. I did it on a very easy um, cactus design that I have just drawn out on a piece of copy paper, and now I am tracing that onto Heat and Bond Light, and I'm using a uh, favorite um, Cast Castell pit pan for this, tracing in a bold point. Everything I use will be listed down below if anybody's interested. I like the bold point for this because you want to be able to see the design on the back side of the heat and bond. I'm going to be doing turning this into a scrappy applique, much like the scrappy applique llama that I did um, oh, a couple months back. And I'll link that video as well. I have a free printable on that one. And next step is just getting strips. I'm, I dug out all my some of my green scraps and I'm cutting strips in various lengths and, and widths. Most of the widths are right around a half inch, but I do have some that are, are narrower and some that are a little wider. You can see that you can see that applique on the back side of my heat and bond. So this is this is the, the adhesive part of the of the heat and bond that I'm working with. And I just spread some school white school glue using my palette knife to get a, just a just a nice even layer of, it, of glue on the back side of this of this um, applique. And because I can see that design through, I know exactly where I, I need to lay my strips. Adding more glue if I need it. And just trying to get a, a nice overall look to this. And just some varying patterns and colors and not putting a whole lot of thought into it. Taking this off now. Um, and I can let, I, after it's dried, I can fussy cut it out. And that's what I'm doing here. Just right on the line, I am cutting that applique out. And then heat setting it so that that heat and bond adhesive is activated. And I like to press both on the front and the back to do this. And this is going to turn it into an applique. And I'm just peel a little bit off here so you can see. I now have a scrappy applique in the shape of a cactus. I'm using the color comfort sweatshirt. This is the color yam. I'm going to link down below an Amazon link for these sweatshirts. Um, if, you, if you want to try something like this on a comfort colored sweatshirt, um, that's a good way of getting them. I get them through a supplier, but you have to I have to buy a quantities. And so I, I'll also link that down below. In case any of you want to do craft shows too, you I'll have that link for you. But on to deconstructing here. And I'm taking about four inches up on this side of the of the bottom side of the sweatshirt, right on the side seam, and I'm trying I'm wanting to remove that side seam. And so I'm cutting on both sides of it and we'll be just removing that side seam completely. And doing the same to the other side as well and just removing that that side that side seam. This turns the sweatshirt into a tunic sweatshirt. So it still has the length, but it has some wiggle room. I, it makes it, it makes it really comfortable to wear. Now you can see I am cutting the top layer of the bottom band or the ribbing, I'm cutting that off or it, right down the middle. And so I'm staggering this so it's going to be two layers of band. Really gives it a nice look. Just add some detail to the bottom. Now this is a raw edge but this is a stable knit so I'm not going to get any fraying on that but I will get some curling. I like I like the look. Um, and. I'm also doing the same, cutting a slit in the neckline, and this is going to add, again, just make it some comfort, making it easier to put over the head. Cutting off the fold of this neckline, and then we'll be also staggering and, cu and cutting that, that top layer of the band shorter. And you'll see me do that in a second here. I'm still just cutting that, that fold off. So now I have two layers of band and just staggering that top layer. I'm 
wanted to do the same to the cuff. And these cuffs are quite tight. This is a size medium. And so you'll have to make um, the judgment call on this. You may not need to cut this the cuff up at all. But again, I'm taking that side seam and I'm cutting beyond into the shirt about two inches or so. And again, doing the same thing to this cuff. I am staggering that um, band. These will be permanently folded up. And now I am fringing just that top layer just to add a fringe to the bottom of this. Now I'm going to be edge stitching these um, vents or these slits. I'm using this particular stitch. It's like an applique stitch. Putting both brown, brown thread both in the bobbin and in and the top thread. And this is how it looks. I really like the look of it. It just adds like a almost a blanket stitch to, to it. Back to my sewing machine. Now I have my zipper foot on. And this zipper foot comes in handy for more things than just a zipper. I have my needle position right on the left side. And I'm going just right along this seam and running a straight stitch to get that um, cuff permanently up. I found this wonderful circle fabric in, in my stash and I thought I was going to I'm going to add a circle to this to this um, applique or this design and so I'm just turn, putting heat and bond on the back of this circle to turn this circle into an applique. Just fussy cutting it out. And now just kind of seeing how I want to lay this on here just removing that heat and bond light to the back of these so that the, I do have an adhesive so I can iron these on as an applique. Using a fric friction pen by Pilot to just draw these um, points of the sun on just when I'm at the sewing machine, I, I have a somewhat of a guideline. Using a stabilizer, and this stabilizer, I'll, I'll link I'll again link it. It's comes in this huge roll. It was a really good value. Um, it's lightweight but quite stiff. It works really well for for a stabilizer. And then you just tear it away. Um, I felt like I needed to use a stabilizer for this um, when I free motion this because there's a lot of stitching that'll be just on the sweatshirt. Um, and not through both the layers of the applique and sweatshirt. So you have to use your judgment whether you think you're going to need a stabilizer or not. Sometimes when you have a really nice, you know, stable um, fabric, you do not need it. I'm at my sewing machine now, and I'm going to show you how I'm free motioning this design, this scrappy applique on. I do have my feed dogs dropped, and I'm doing all the movement on this. And I have my darner foot or my free motion foot on. And notice how I am going um, uh, on every one of these these strips of fabric. I'm just outlining it, and I outline it twice. And I try not to get right on the the stitching on the same line twice. I like it off a little bit, so it has more of a scrappy, organic look to it. This is real time. In a little bit here, I'm going to be speeding it up, but I wanted to show you how you know how fast this 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 goes. And actually, these really went quite quite fast. I did a number of them. I'll show pictures of all the designs in the in the back. I did a couple different projects with the same cactus design. Now I am putting on those those little pokey parts of the cactus. And this is what's so fun about free motion is you can just go anywhere you want. It's like drawing drawing with thread. I'm just adding those little those little pokes in there. And this of course is sped up again just showing how I'm going through and outlining each one of these strips. Onto the little sun and I'm doing um, again those little sun pole, little rays of the sun and again go over it twice and I'm not concerned if it's going not going on the exact same line. I'm going to be putting on this variegated thread in, in an orange color. 
changing my pressure foot just to a regular zigzag foot. And I'm going to be doing a, a, just a fun um, decorative stitch. I love adding decorative stitches to my designs when I can, just to use some of those stitches more often. And I'll show you a close-up here of what this looks like. This is a, a just a, a stitch of a, just a fun stitch, and I think it looks great on this cactus. I'm moving all this stabilizer in the back, and this just tears off, and eventually will wash away also. Now I'm just going to give it one final press and remove that pen mark on the sun. You always want to test these pens on whatever fabrics you're using. They do sometimes use leave a white residue on darker fabrics, um, if so always test. And I did the fringe on the bottom too as you can see, and here's some more pictures. I did a couple different um, upcycled garments, a denim jacket, a denim shirt, this was a, a snap shirt, here's the front of it. And also this white denim um, jacket. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Have, and I hope you have a chance to create this week. Bye for now.